Okay, in this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to install custom firmware extender 3.1 as well as install and use remote joy. First, what you want to do is download custom firmware extender 3.1 and extract it. After it's done extracting, go ahead and connect your PSP to your computer and navigate to the root of your memory stick. Now, if you don't have a SE plugins folder on the root of your memory stick, you can just go into the release folder and copy this folder right here onto the root. But for those of you that do, go ahead and copy the CFE folder and paste it onto your memory stick. And go into the VSH text file and copy the whole text right here and paste it into both the VSH file as well as the game file and save them. Now restart your PSP into recovery mode. If you don't know how to do this, completely turn off your PSP and turn it back on holding the or trigger. Go into the plugin submenu and enable CFE loader.prx VSH and CFE loader.prx game. Now go back and exit. After your PSP has booted back up into the XMB. Open up the custom firmware extender menu by holding the note key and the right trigger. Then if you don't know what the note key is, it's the key in between the screen key and the select button. Scroll down to start remote joy and hit X. Now Windows will try to install the PSP driver. After a while, it will just give up and ask for your input. Click on I don't have the disk, show me other options, and browse my computer. Now hit browse and go into the CFE subfolder, release, windows, remote joy, and click on the driver folder and select OK. Make sure include subfolders is checked and click next. It will now start installing the driver software. If a window pops up, just click install this driver software anyway. Alright, there you go, it's done. Hit close and close out of this. Now reboot your PSP. Once it's rebooted, click hit the note key and the right trigger again and start remote joy once again now in your CFE 3.1 folder go back into release windows remote joy and double click on remote joy light en and there you go here is your XMB and I will show you my firmware just to verify that I'm running custom firmware 5.00 some quick shortcuts F1 shows the frames per second F3 turns off the display F4 hides a little border around the window and C to set it into capture mode and then F12 to start capturing and F12 again to stop also, you can control Remote Joy using your um, keyboard. Okay, and this is just showing you that it will also work perfectly in game as well. And just go into game and hit Start Remote Joy. And there you go. It should work perfectly. Double click on 
the screen to make it full screen and here you go here is remote joy on your computer screen